So today we're gonna be playing Can You Survive the Purge? Ooh. We're finally doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All crimes, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. Your government thanks you for your participation. So, you all know what the purge is. I don't need to really get into it. Basically, we can do whatever we want with no consequences, right? Yeah, basically. Well, I mean, like, if they have a gun, there's obviously gonna be consequences. Hey, I'm just gonna hit this random person. <laughs> 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 if if the purge was real, do you think everyone would immediately resort to murder? Or do you think we would all be like doing smaller crimes, like robbing banks and stealing dogs or something? Uh, I'm assuming there would be quite a large number of people who would not know what to do when it first gets introduced. And then mm -hmm. there would be like the 10% that just go crazy because they have no morals. Well, in this situation, <laughs> I will have no morals, so... The heck? <laughs> <laughs> So the purge night comes, uh, there's a couple options that you can choose from. Number one, you can stay home and hide and wait it out. Number two, you can go out and then try to do something. Number three, you can really enjoy the purge, rob a bank, kill a couple kids, help out with Ooh. the whole overpopulation thing. And number four, volunteer, like try to go out and rescue some people, make sure they don't die. Oh yeah, that was purge two. Okay. What? Mm -hmm. Rescuing people? <laughs> well, what do you pick, Osa? Uh, me, I'm seeing home what the heck I'm, right. i don't want to die yet <laughs> steven obviously murder there's no other option if you have what do you mean <laughs> what, what there's do you mean what four do I mean? options there's no there's other option <laughs> if you're given an entire day just to murder things steven is gonna take advantage of this i want to commit crimes but i also want to have a sense of justice so i want to volunteer and help people <laughs> <laughs> you shoot someone in the face oh let me help you real he was quick. a bad guy he was a bad guy the person who shot oh, in the okay face. all right <laughs> <laughs> so, Hosa, you would hide in your own house, right? Psst. Hey, Steven, uh, Hosa's been talking some smack about you. <laughs> <laughs> Dan! Uh, hey, James, um, uh -huh. Hosa thought your name was Theo, short for the odd ones out. <laughs> Is that a true story? <laughs> no, it sounds like it's a true story. Maybe, yes, yeah, it's a true story for sure. <laughs> If you were to hide, Hosa, where would, like, hiding in your house, especially when there's two people that want to kill you, is the worst thing ever. Where would you want to hide? Wait, are they gonna come and get me? Even though Odd is the only one who hasn't met Hosa, we're still gonna hunt him down regardless of this fact. Just... I'm gonna hunt you down. Okay, actually. well, <laughs> not if I hunt you first. Ho ho! Ho ho! So where are you gonna hide, Hosa? I'm gonna find you first. Wait, is it only America that has the law? Can I just leave the country? No leaving the country. That's too okay. easy. Mm -hmm. Too okay. easy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would go to school. Well, I mean, like, I can shoot up schools, too. No. It's not just in America, not just Whoa. in America. Right. Oh, I can't oh, say that in no. the public, so you I won't take that out. That's just, <laughs> it's the purge, okay? It's on the purge. James, what would be the best way to track someone down and kill them if you've been wanting to kill them for a week? Maybe, like, do some, uh, some, like, uh, like real-life stalking, you know, with, like, binoculars. I don't know. <laughs> so old school. <laughs> what about you, Steven? How would you try to kill Hosa? I would just run at him. <laughs> Hosa doesn't seem like the person who can run a a lot and I feel like with James on my tail the faster I kill Hosa the better it is for me <laughs> or do you have a weapon or are you just, just gonna bare fist it to slap him to death I don't know Daniel do we have <laughs> weapons I feel like we do right you guys should have weapons exactly my weapon is my sharp wit I thought it was something like higher than class something weapon are not permitted oh, right yeah. Yeah. yeah no explosives or something yeah guns are fine though you want know guns but then again it's so impersonal I think knives yo know I'll go with knife <laughs> Oh my gosh. Then I want a sword. I want a sword. <laughs> a sword? <laughs> a sword is just a long knife. I think Jaden made a video about that. She made about forks or something that knives are just one prong forks. I don't It's off Oh <laughs> yeah, I watched that one. That was great. Oh my gosh. Hosa is such a Jaden animation fan, I man. Am. Like, frick. I'm sorry, James. <laughs> <laughs> what the who what Theo? It's Theodore, actually. <laughs> Answer this as if it's actually happening to you, not whole theoretical quiz thing. If someone in the purge during the night, you're home, someone's screaming outdoors, your next door neighbor girl is in trouble, and you hear it, but it's the purge night. Do you A 
go help them out, or B, no, we're on our own. I would probably just join the guy murdering, obviously. No, but it's a little girl. <laughs> Wait a sec, how old is this girl? Because if she's over 18, I will murder, but if she's like 12, then obviously not. Oh. Heck, even I won't do that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's one line I won't cross. 13 to 18 is a gray area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's 17 and a half. James, what do you do? <laughs> well, going by my code of conduct of, of rescue people, I would have to scope out the, the situation, kind of like lurk in the shadows, be like, oh, who's chasing her? Someone chase, you know, uh, get a good read on the whole situation. And then if I decide that it's safe, I go rescue Wait, her. Wait, but what but What if she's also a murderer and they oh, were trying to murder her before she murdered them? Okay. <laughs> you just need to murder everyone and you won't have this problem. See, problem solved. Boom. If this actually did happen, though, would you spend the day alone? Or would you try to gather some of your friends together? Would you trust your friends or nah? This is this is tricky area. Like, especially yeah. having Steven as a friend. <laughs> 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 it's fine, Hosa. I wouldn't run with you guys anyway. Larger packs mean larger targets. In actuality, would you, like, just barge yourself in your room? Not go out anywhere? I think that's what I would do. Barricade yourself? That's so boring. Yeah, that's for the video. You can't- for the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be more entertaining, Hosa. What are you doing? <laughs> get into the spirit of the holiday. <laughs> would anyone get sleep that night? I doubt it. That's why you gotta prepare for this. This is why it's an annual thing. I guess Host is not prepared because he's barricading himself in his room. <laughs> oh gee, I wonder who's home. Kick down the door. Hey, Hosa, what's happening? Nothing, nothing. Just drop, drop the knife. <laughs> <laughs> drop it? Drop it. If the day is over and say you survived, would you be traumatized or would you like would you be excited for the next year's purge? Obviously, you know, that would that would be some trauma. Like I said, you wouldn't get like any sleep. After like 20th year into it, it would just become a culture. I mean, wouldn't you you'd have to like be on your toes. You would hate to for like just one year like not worry about it and then a crazy lunatic comes in and tries to murder your whole family. So I feel like it, it's kind of like Christmas where you always have to, you know, be prepared for it. I don't know if that was a good example. <laughs> That's not a good example. <laughs> Christmas for Steven, yeah. Okay, so what happens if I try to murder Hosa, but I didn't get a chance to because he ran too fast and the 12 hours is up and now all of a sudden I have to meet him at work or something. <laughs> I'm sure in the Purge universe, there are people who like tried to kill their boss but then failed. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of a, a funny like situation. Okay. What if they had the purge, but for fast food employees? <laughs> so, is this because you worked at Subway for six months or something? <laughs> well, you, you just you get a chance to see people's true colors. You're like, oh, can I have a milkshake? And they're like, oh, I don't know, can you? And then they slap you. <laughs> <laughs> anyone other than teachers say that ever? I mean, I don't know. That's why you need this purge thing to see if they would. 